Well, let's see. Let's take a look. New weekly pack. Oh, tier 1. Moth, Magpie, New Unit Alert, <laughs> Blue Dragon, Fish, Possum, Horse, Seahorse, Mouse, and... Oh, fish, no other this time, but yeah, fish should be amazing, even without the uh, Bison. That is a Dragonfly, so there is an incentive to go for the level 3 strats, but still, leveling up fish is just gonna keep you alive, keeping your uh, team stats up. Looks like Ant is here again, which is an amazing unit. We've got Mouse, which was honestly... Interesting last week as well, but I don't think too many people used it. I think it pretty much the same thing in here as well. No stats food in the first few deals means that uh, you, you can try to go for a level 2 mouse in the early rounds and then just sell it off, boost your uh, next unit. I think it's a pretty good idea. Hey, boy. Oh, long head? No, yeah, well, thank you, boy. Okay, Seahorse should be interesting, maybe late game uh, shenanigans, there's a lot of summons, maybe this will mess up with them later on, maybe. Magpie? No puppy, but <laughs> economy, it's still nice, Magpie is a pretty nice tool. Moth, Moth and a lot of high attack stuff, Flilge Dragon has one faint ability to work with in tier 1, a second one in tier 2, I mm, think it should be a decent unit. There's a lot more stuff along the way here as well. Osprey, Badger and whatnot. Yeah, Egg. I think Egg should get uh, kills most of the time. A lot of low HP stuff. We've only got the Possum for 3 HP. And I guess Magpie. Magpie Ant in the back is actually pretty disgusting. Makes for a 3-5 unit bone on one. Yeah, Honey. Even more summons. We've got a horse, but no Cricket. No Spider. Well, I guess we've got stilt, but mm, not that great. But yeah, you could go horse honey team, maybe. Tilt two, elephant, stilt, elephant, camel, leech. Oof, oof, big time. Stilt, guinea pig, goldfish, frigate bird, raccoon, crab, the new small crab, swan, salamander. Interesting deal too, we've got some dead units. Guine well, I guess even guinea pig could. It's not, it's not fake. Deal ones are very easy to get to level 3. You do not need a unit like guinea pig so you can uh, make sure you get a level 3 unit. You could uh, you could try like level 3 guinea pig, level 2 tier 1, you have to dragonfly and then just scale a boring team with no abilities. But yeah, I guess it at least might have a purpose, right? At least it's not completely like purposeless whatever goldfish no buy sell strats here but um even on regular teams i like uh, i like getting a goldfish if i can it's uh it's unfortunately outshined by swan because might as well get a swan instead of a goldfish but <laughs> yeah sure still nice to see elephants should be a pretty huge priority for tier 2 i think leech camel is gonna be um the most dominant thing you can go for. Like, imagine getting both of these on tier, on, uh, not tier 3, on turn 3. 3 rounds into the game, you can get a plus 2, plus 3 passive scaling on the leech. I mean, yeah, if you get both of them from a level up. There is no spider pill, fortunately, to be able to cheat off these faster, but, um, yeah. Should probably look for um, around 3 level ups, get at least one of these two guys, so you can get uh, the scaling going as fast as you can around 5, getting the second one. Raccoon? Mm, maybe steal something. Uh, there's melon, there's lemon. Good stuff to steal. There's scorpion to deny the peanuts, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it can work. Level 2, plus dragonfly, plus giraffe, plus hatching check. It's got the ways to scale. I think can be an interesting carry this week. Crab? Yeah, sure, but... Actually, maybe Crab Salamander? There is a Lollipop, so I think Salamander um, could just be the second most uh, powerful thing to go for. Just... Uh, you can even just get two Salamanders, kill both of them. Turn one's attack into HP with the Lollipop, then combine. Or just get a level 2 salamander, that's probably the best way to do it. Get a level 2 salamander, which should be pretty easy to get. Then just get it to 50 attack easily. Not sure how many starter battle units we've got. We've got one. Uh, Flitch Dragon, yeah. One, two, three. Three in tier one, that's pretty good. And crab. Mm, not that many, but 
it should still be decent. You do not need to get to 50 attack to use Lollipop. You can get to like 25 and then turn it into HP. And should be pretty strong. So Amanda should be a um, pretty good unit at this pack. Chocolate Cake. One of the faint abilities. Looks like we've got a ton of them. Eagle, Orca, Wolf. Should be fun. Cupcake, Shirt, sure. Meat Bone. Why not for a swan or whatever. Decent tier 2, a lot of dead units though, Frigate Bird, no, well, <laughs> for Camel, sure, but if it has like a one purpose, even if it's like pretty bad, it's it's still nice, maybe we can use it sometimes, instead of just always keeping it. Okay, Teal Theme, with the Leech Camel, the gigantic Leech, look at the Leech and then look at the Whale. <laughs> Yeah, pretty nuts. I don't know what did, um, how they could balance this to make it not as uh, dominant in the, in weekly packs. Because if Leech Camel is placed in a weekly pack, it's probably always going to be like the strongest thing to go for. Like, plus 2, plus 3. I mean, plus 2, plus 2 from Camel, plus 1 HP from Leech standing on round 3. That's just disgusting. No way to heal the camel. Mm, Flick it, but yeah, maybe, but it's not that huge of a problem because um, it it's pretty slow. It kill the leech kills the camel off pretty slowly, and the best thing you can do is just wait a couple of rounds, keep the camel frozen. When the camel goes down to one, two HP, just buy the new camel, and there you go. You've got a seven HP camel, and yeah, that should do it. Especially because you're looking for um. Level 2 camel ASAP, that is definitely gonna be a priority. Whoever gets the bigger leech is probably gonna win uh, rounds, right? Everyone's gonna go for this. So, um, I don't think the camel die is gonna be a problem. Should be easy enough to find at least like a second one to at least get the HP back up if you want to find a level 2. Osprey, summon units, sure, we've got some, uh, some more trumpets. I don't see any ways to use the trumpets except for the usual Golden Retriever, Badger, no cross -up. Oh, Not too many snipes to transform the Badger into a Kamikaze unit for your uh, team, which is nice. Maybe you could use this, keep it in the back. There are gonna be a lot of summon units in this, um, in this pack, so Badger's not that valuable. Just can like the first unit, right, from the summon chain, it's not that great. Chrono Flag at your dome. With this many summons and the pineapple, keeping this in the back might actually just be um, the funnest unit for the, for the week. Yeah, no real snipes to count the summons, so... Hmm, dolphin Parrot, maybe? <laughs> but yeah, I think Chrono Flag at has potential to be a lot of fun. Hey Jared, let's see you feeling better. Yo, thank you, Jared. Thank you. Have to see you too, man. Giraffe. There you go. Your um, usual scaling, hatching check, which is unfortunately pretty annoying to deal with. If you get this from a level up, you kind of automatically win the next few rounds. Ox. Sure, works nicely, nicely with the summons, I guess. Pretty good unit. Very strong unit. Dolphin, it should be pretty powerful. I think uh, I think you gotta take a dolphin in this pack. At least for mid game. Yep, too much too much good stuff to snipe. A lot of uh, low HP summons, you can even kill a poison dark frog, 2 HP, kills off scorpions maybe. It has potential to be pretty destructive, especially with the pineapple. Ladders, stats, sure. Lollipop, gonna be very useful for, uh, for the salamander of course. Even for these, maybe? Mm, not really. Okay, deal 4. Well, Armadillo. Ooh, you've got Lich Armadillo as well. Or Elephant Armadillo. But okay, Lich Armadillo. HP boss for the whole team. Maybe you go, um, mm, no weakness. Summon team with Lich Armadillo and uh, some type of weakness, but there's no weakness. Okay, that's what's gonna hold the summons um, back. And also, okay, not just that, but that's definitely a, a pretty big factor. Okay, let's continue. We'll talk about that later. Parrot, nice, pretty good vers versatility. Should be pretty powerful with the dolphin. Should wipe out summon squads. <laughs> but anything else? Can't really use them with these, unfortunately. 
Parrot Flycatcher, not really. Well, maybe, but nah. Probably just use it as a second um, summon unit. Hmm, actually, the strongest thing you can probably use it with would just be a Stego. You can get to level 2, level 3 easily. They just get a huge <laughs> buff with the Stego. Amazing unit as always. Penguin. Ah, oh, gonna be annoying. We've got Penguin and Dragonfly. We've got a lot of uh, ways to scale, especially with Hatching Check, Giraffe as well. These, but they don't really count. They're just a uh, self scaling combo. Should be pretty powerful. Poison Dart Frog with Slug. <laughs> there you go, not a hard combo to see. You've got 1 ups as well. You've got a White Whale that can swallow slugs. Poison Dart Frog should be interesting. Shouldn't be too crazy. Late game, like no tiger, no ammo, nothing to really enhance it. No weakness. It should be nice, but if the enemy has like lemon, that's it. Like level 2 poison that frag deals 2 damage to a unit with lemon. Yeah, it can be great, but. It's, it's probably going to be pretty strong mid game because you've got so many ways to get so many snipes out of it easily. Whale, slug, osprey, whatever. Squirrel. Mm, no, no good uh, stats food. Oops, no good stats food should be deck rate. Dragonfly should be amazing as always. Level 3 strats, why not? Level 3 whatever, level 3 and level 3 magpie maybe. Into just a level 2 whatever. Or yeah, you can just reinforce Leech Camel, just like Giraffe or Hatcher can. Should be pretty strong. Platypus, nothing relevant here. Just 5 2 stats. If you get this one level up, at least you have some good attack, I guess. Donut. What would be the best, the strongest combo, whatever, the strongest usage, I guess, for the Donut? Right? We've got the random stego buff, but it literally does not work with donut. You use the donut, then the unit cannot get buffed by the stego. Maybe the strongest thing you can uh, do with the donut would be summon team with the one, two more, more tapirs, and then just use a donut to control what the tapir copies. Just keep an eagle in the back, an orca in the back with donut, and then tapirs with one ups. Could be, uh, could be pretty nuts. Yeah, especially because the lack of snipes, man. No links, no crack, no nothing that can uh, quite uh, stop the summons from doing their thing. They're kind of sucky, of course, against uh, your usual scaling, especially because it seems like we do not have like an actual enabler for um, the summon team. No Vulture, no Tanaki, no Grizzly, no German Shepherd, absolutely nothing. Poison Dark Frog, kinda, but yeah, it's at the bottom. I guess we've got hearts. <laughs> no, it doesn't count. But um, yeah, nothing to really count with the summons, but again, the summon team should not be incredibly strong. But then again, like four wolves level 3 can still take down a lot of high stats teams, right? Their biggest problem should be this lemon right here. They've got one up to work with. I think summons should be interesting this week. Rhino to counter them. When I came. Grapes, Fortune Cookie. Yeah, sure. No steak. Maybe Fortune Cookie can uh, see some play. And no cheese, I guess. Okay. Heal 5, Rhino. Well, it should be interesting. Rhino, Lemon against all these uh, summons. No Tiger Rhino. Nothing that can, uh, like, I don't know, no Urchin for the Rhino to maybe make it more likely for you to kill stuff with the Benko. But mm, it can work, but you probably don't really want to go for one anyway. Moose. Ah, disgusting scaling. Fox. Nope. Lion. Nope, T6s are pretty good. Scorpion should be pretty nice with 1 up, can kill the 50 50 leeches with lemon, melon. Should be a good pick. Wolf, Beluga, Eagle, summons, Macaque. Even Macaque is technically a summon unit. 
it says right there, summon one. <laughs> Chocolate, lemon, and chili. If there was no lemon, the summons would have been much stronger for sure. Chocolate, always nice to see it, definitely helps the summon use that would just want higher levels, not higher stats. Chocolate cake, is, again, for these should be pretty fun. Eagle, no pill for the eagle would have been fun. Not too many high stats units the eagle can summon, but eagle or orca should, um, should make for some dirty um, RNG summon teams, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Interesting tier 5. A lot of strong stuff. And tier 6. Tapir? Yeah, I think Tapir can be pretty interesting with the donut 1 up plays. I think a Tapir with 1 up, I guess, would summon uh, a, the unit with the donut, 1 eagle, and then 1 more Tapir, which would summon another eagle. So, mm. I guess. I guess it kind of works. But instead, you could just have like another eagle with 1 up. And then you would not have to use donut on the, the unit, you could just have one up as well on the unit, right? Yeah, it should be fun though. <laughs> you can level both of them separately, should be interesting, maybe. <laughs> Where the paradise? Nice, I, I guess. Level 3 magpie doesn't quite get you to 14, but one grape can, right? No pill? Yeah. Govilla? Govilla leech? Activate that coconut in the shopping phase. Alpaca, sure, round 9 alpaca, we've got chocolate, should make for some uh, strong stuff, you buy these summons, they're instantly level 2, they're amazing, level 2, one of these out of the box should be pretty good, yeah, snake, against these summons, should shred, stego, cheap way to get some stats if you're behind, I guess, with parrot, why not, no tiger for it, orca, amazing, with 1-up, amazing, we've got a ton of new faint abilities in the game now, most importantly, I think the flea. The flea from the Orca should be uh, almost round winner, I think. Yep. Depends on the enemy team and stuff like that, of course, but yeah, gaining weakness on the biggest HP unit, they will probably have lemon or melon still, but yeah, it should be amazing. Fly, even more summons, and white tiger. Which is pretty bad ever since it got nerfed, but it can still work with some uh, eagles or and stuff like that. One up, amazing, soft ice, trash, and melon. Pretty good protection for, uh, for big units against scorpions, I guess. But yeah, you should probably just use lemon on your units to make sure that you don't get cheesed by the summons. Pretty interesting weekly. A lot of strong stuff. Leech Camel should absolutely dominate and be the best thing to go for early game. With a, with an elephant as well, why not? This keeps you alive while this guy keeps scaling and yeah, at the end you, you're just left with a 50-50 leech. You can maybe go for um, Salamander um, and Leech Camel in the same team because these guys they just scale passively, and then you can just focus on the Salamander, buy and sell, Lollipop it when necessary. Yeah, then late game. Throw some, uh, throw some late game scaling, the Dragonfly, a Moose, by the Paradise, not really. And some summons, and should be pretty interesting weekly. Stats and summons for the week. I like it. It's a... Uh, if we get to see uh, some uh, some different units being at the top, why not? And let's go, we got the player as well. 